Hi YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebony and this is Forever Ebony. So today I am here with my new bag from my favorite contemporary brand, Coach. And this is the Lana 23 in the color Darkstone. So I recently showed you another bag in this color and I loved it so much, I decided to pick this one up in this color as well. To me, this is a really, really good neutral color and it goes with just about everything in my wardrobe. So it really was a no brainer to pick this bag up in this color. Now, the tough part for me was deciding on this one or the Lana shoulder bag. So if you're not aware, there is a larger version of this bag and the handles just fit right over your shoulder. I literally had them both at the register trying to decide which one to get. Now, obviously the shoulder bag is going to be bigger, but there were also some other differences too. And I'll share those with you as well. But first, I just wanna show you around this beautiful, beautiful bag. So here is a close up of the front of the bag. And the bag of course is in pebbled leather. There's a seam going right down the middle and the handles of course are permanently attached. The C logo is in the bottom right hand corner, which I really, really like. Normally with Coach, they place the logo in the center of the bag somewhere, but I think placing it in the bottom right corner really does elevate this bag. Here is the side of the bag and on the side of the bag, you are able to see the pleating and then there is the Coach hang tag. Here is the back of the bag and on the back of the bag, there is the seam going right down the middle the other side and then here is the bottom so on the bottom unfortunately it does not come with feet i'm not sure why coach decided not to add feet to the bottom on the larger shoulder bag it did come with feet i really wish this one would have came with feet as well just to protect the bottom of the bag here are the top of the handles and on the top of the handles just like on the front and back of the bag there is a seam right down the middle the inside of the bag is fully lined in a smooth leather. Right on the front, you are able to also see the back of the C logo. In the middle, there is a center divider, which to me is kind of shaped like a pouch. And right on the front of that is the Coach Creed. The inside of the pouch is also lined in leather and then it just opens and closes with the magnet. The center divider, AKA the pouch, on the larger shoulder bag opens and closes with a zipper. I think I kind of prefer the magnetic closure on this one just because it has less hardware. On both ends of the pouch, there are two D-rings and this is just where the crossbody strap that I'll show you in a second is attached. The pouch itself is attached to the bottom of the bag with four little rivets and the top of the pouch is secured to the sides of the bag which are pinched in giving it that pleating effect. So I did create a short quickly showing what fits inside of this bag but I did get a couple of questions on whether or not other specific items will fit inside so I do just want to show you again what fits inside along with a couple of other requested items and I didn't show you in the short but I do also want to show what fits inside of the pouch. Before I do that, I also want to show you a size comparison of some other bags I have in my collection, starting with my Marc Jacobs tote bag. So this one I have in the size small, and honestly, they are about the same height. The tote bag is gonna be just a little bit taller, but if you have the small tote bag in your collection, this will give you a really good reference on just how big the Lana 23 is. On the side, they are also about the same size. On the Lana, it is gonna be a little bit more cinched in due to the pleating, and and because of that, I do think that the tote bag is gonna be able to hold more items inside. And then also the tote bag doesn't have a center divider, so it's gonna give you more room to place bigger items inside. Now, before I move on to the next bag, I do just also want to mention that the leather on both of these bags almost feel identical. The tote bags by Marc Jacobs are known to have a squishy, soft type leather. And honestly, you guys, the Lana feels exactly the same to me. Before I got a chance to see the Lana in person, just seeing the pictures online, I really didn't expect for the leather to be this soft, but it's really, really soft in person. And the pebbling on it feels really good too. And here it is next to the mini tote bag. So of course the mini tote bag is a lot smaller, but this mini tote bag, you guys, it packs a punch. I'm able to fit almost the same amount of stuff that I was able to fit in my Lana bag into this tote bag. So even though it is small, don't sleep on the mini tote bag, you guys, because I was shocked with how much I'm able to fit inside of it. And then here it is next to the Rogue 20. They are about the same height. I wanna say that the Lana is a little bit taller. And then width-wise, the Lana is 
gonna also be just a little bit wider. I would say for this robe and also the mini tote that the lining is gonna be able to fit just a little bit more just because it has that interior pouch. But if you're not using the pouch, they do hold about the same amount of stuff. This Rogue 20 right now is my favorite coach bag. I reach for this bag so much. The size 20 is my perfect Rogue size. So much so that I ended up selling my Rogue 25 that I had. And now the liner for me, you guys, is right up there with this Rogue 20. And I know I just got this liner bag, you guys, but I had to force myself out of this bag. It is so, so easy to wear. And I've been wearing it every single way that coach intended for it to be worn. I've been wearing it top handle crossbody and I've also been carrying it as a shoulder bag as well and I can't say that for my rogue I only wear my rogue crossbody so I think my rogue has a little bit of competition right now for that top spot but I'm gonna do a ranking of my top coach bags at the end of the year so we're just gonna have to wait and see and just before I forget, here is the crossbody strap that comes with the Lana 23. Of course, it is detachable and it has a 21 and a half inch drop and it just attaches to both of the D rings here and here. So we're just going to put everything back in my bag with the exception of the fragrance mist because I honestly don't even know where that thing is at. But we're just going to substitute this hand lotion instead. So I'm just going to put that right up front. And then my phone, which is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, is just gonna go in the bag. My Gucci key case wallet, a hand sanitizer, and then right in the middle pouch, I'm gonna put my Gucci key pouch, my AirPods, a Chanel hand cream, and my MCM card case. So that is everything right back inside of the bag. And as you can see, everything does fit in really, really nice. One thing that I have noticed with this bag is because the pouch is not connected all the way on the sides, if you put a small item in the back or in the front, sometimes it can move around to the other side of the bag. So because of that, I have been putting smaller items like the Chanel hand cream inside of the pouch. That way it doesn't move all around the bag. So I'm just gonna take a few things out of the bag because I did also receive a question of whether or not a full-size wallet will fit inside of the bag. Here is my full-size MCM wallet and it will fit inside of the bag standing up but it's going to be sticking out the top of the bag and even if you place it inside sideways it is still going to be sticking out the top of the bag. So I was also asked if a book will fit inside of the bag. So here is one of my favorite books The Color Purple by Alice Walker and as you can see it will fit inside of the bag but it's also going to stick out of the top of the bag just like the full-size wallet so if that doesn't bother you technically it does fit inside of the bag but I would just recommend if you're going to be carrying larger items like this to maybe consider the Lana shoulder bag so here it is you guys my new coach Lana 23 in the color dark stone I am so glad that I ended up picking up this bag and getting it in this color there are so many different options as far as colors with this bag it's available in black ivory gray blue and it's also available in an amazon green color block and also an ivory color block and i did also see it available in signature jacquard but i'm not sure if that's just going to be available overseas i am just so happy that i picked it up in this dark stone color this color has easily become one of my favorite colors from coach right now i have two bags in this color and i am going to stop right here because i can go overboard but i'm really really in love with this color you guys so let me know your thoughts you guys what do you think about the lana 23 are you going to be picking this bag up as well do you have this bag on your wish list or do you prefer the lana shoulder bag i would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below and of course if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and i'll talk to you really soon in my next video